Are you about to travel to Europe from the UK? Have you been hearing reports that your UK passport expiry date is wrong? Well, it's true. Some people have been stopped at the airport because their passport is no longer valid, even though the date on the passport says it's still valid. What's going on? Find out in this very, 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 very short video. Welcome to You to Spain. Hi, I'm Scats, and on this channel I talk about how to move to Spain and I interview experts and expats live on my Saturday morning live stream. Oh yes, it's informative and fun. And in today's little midweek video, I'm going to explain what's happening to UK passport expiry dates since Brexit because some of you have fallen foul of the change in rules and been turned away from the airport when you were expecting to go away and be sipping sandrias on the sunny Costa del Sol at siesta time. So why is that? Well, it's because you love sangria, of course. <laughs> Stop it, naughty scats. Why did you get turned away? Well, this is a unique situation because Brexit has never happened to you before. No, here is what's going on and why. When your present passport was renewed, you did it early, didn't you? Oh, yes, you did because you're so very organised. I'm very proud of you. So let's say you renewed it nine months early. The passport people would add that nine months on the end of the standard 10 years. That's very kind of them, isn't it? Because 10 years is the normal amount of time that an adult passport lasts. Then the expiry date would end up being 10 years and nine months after the date of issue. And that used to be fine before Brexit, but since Brexit, that extra time added on to the end is not valid anymore, according to the UK government website. Although, apparently, according to EU rules, it is still valid. Ooh. So the UK government website is a little bit misleading, but some airlines are following their guidance just to play safe. So, well, you could try quoting EU rules at them as they chuck you out of the airport. It might even work, but it will probably spoil your trip. Oh, but don't go away. There's more. Remember that if you're travelling to Europe, for example, the UK government website says you should have an expiry date of at least six months after your departure date, the date you set off on holiday. That's because you're only supposed to stay in Europe for three months. 90 days. You know, that's the 9180 rule I told you about in another video. And you also need to have another three months clear after you come back on your passport. That's six months altogether. And even though you may be only going on holiday for two weeks and not the full 90 days, the advice is to have that clear six months after you set off. That's just the government covering their collective derrieres. So here's what to do to check whether you need to renew your passport before you travel. Count forward exactly nine years and six months from the issue date on your passport. If the resulting date is before your departure date, you're going to need a new passport before you go. Now, some of you might be thinking, but I booked the ticket under that passport and I've checked in under that passport. Why didn't the airline notice and tell me? With big warning alarms going off. Oh, oh, oh. And why am I talking in such a high voice? Oh. Well, I don't know anything about the voice, but the airlines just don't do that. They don't let you know. It's probably in the small print that everything that goes wrong is your fault. It's all your fault. I don't know. Nobody ever reads that stuff. Right then, quick, sort your passport out. Come on, come on, come on. There's no time to lose. Just don't forget to click on the like button on this video before you go. I'll see you on the live show on Saturday, every Saturday, 10.30 Spanish time. That's all for now. Peace and love and a big sloppy kiss from me. Mwah. Bye for now.